Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Back with Oxygen Not Included, the Cosmic Upgrade. And after uh, each episode, I usually kind of take a look at the base after I stop recording. Make sure everything I've done during the episode <laughs> makes sense. And uh, I noticed some stuff just as I was kind of stopping the last recording. I noticed this is probably going to cave in when they get in there and start digging. So I probably need to cancel this until I... Uh, Kind of replace this. So we're going to do that first. Probably use uh, sandstone should be fine. This water's not going to last very long. So that'll cave in. That'll cave in, but that should be okay. And we don't want priority nine. I might do priority six. And someone pointed out, but I also noticed uh, this pump is not working, and it's because the automation wire is kind of in the way. So we're going to fix that up go around it and take out that existing wire so that starts running so that's one thing I noticed um, what else uh, I realize this is kind of getting full in here and this whole area is starting to get a bit warm where oxygen is being generated let me unpause here so yeah oxygen going to the base is like between 30 and 40 so I kind of want to relocate this Maybe up here, kind of away from all this hot geyser stuff. Um, yeah, and I might want to build some kind of chimney as well, but it won't be necessary if I if I move it all the way up here or something, where it's nice and chilly. It's minus 40 over here, minus 30. Now all this stuff is going to generate heat, so... And I kind of don't like this water piling up, so we're going to get that out of there. And I was kind of looking at stress. We got high stress, stinky, juicy, and wolf. And I was just kind of looking at their the reports between episodes. And I noticed if we look go to look at stress change here and look at each dupe, we can see food quality 27%. So 27% stress was added last cycle to stinky 20 for juicy 21 for wolf and if we look at consumables we can kind of see these three guys need plus two food so what I'm thinking of doing is canceling all their food let's pause it for this and only allowing them to eat good stuff so all this stuff is crappy, but we could feed them gristleberries at least a bit better, and we have that. Omelets would be okay. And I'm thinking of making some berry sludge for them, because we do have some sleep wheat hanging around. And I should put on all this other stuff, even though I haven't made any of this stuff. It's safe to put all that on. What are mushrooms? Quality 1... Keep that off for now. Fried mushrooms. And that should help them with the stress a little bit. I see Hank. Actually, Hank likes uh, the good food as well. Let's sort, let's sort by expectations here. And these, these guys have these high food expectations because they've been trained all the way over in the right-hand side of the tree. So let's fix Hank up here. We'll kind of mirror these settings. And then we'll keep an eye on their stress and see if it gets a bit better. Right now, Juicy, Wolf, Stinky, they're all super stressed out, so they gotta stay on these massage tables for quite some time. And I'm thinking of making some... maybe some omelets. Oh, I do have that on continuous. Actually, that's that's fine. Let's just see how many eggs we got going on here. These hatches, uh, they're happy. I think we can safely cook up some eggs without having too much problem here. Let's see, hatchling egg to raw egg. Let's do four. That stress is really going up. 
Juicy Stinky. Juicy Wolf really needs to get on there. Oh, oh, these guys are stuck in there. Look at that. Now they can get out. No wonder they're stressed out. Okay, hopefully none of this breaks. But I think they'll I think this water will be used up pretty quickly. Priority six, that's fine. So this is working. I'm thinking of maybe moving it up here. Let's see how we could plan this out. Um, we could probably keep everything else in the same place, but just move the pumps and electrolyzers up. Not around this thing, because that's pretty hot. We could, we could extend out from here. I don't want to disrupt this naturally growing sleet meat, though. Maybe we'll just move it up here. Kind of make a, a road along here. A road, a platform, whatever you want to call it. Like that. Just nice flat surface. Priority 8. I uh, probably don't want priority 8. So stressed out. 79%. Yeah, this food thing is really stressing them out. We don't want them doing anything except for de stressing. Wolf, juicy. Wow. Oh, I remember the other thing that happened. I had this thing assigned to juicy. So only Juicy's going to go in there, which is really bad. So that's fixed. Another big boo-boo. So oh, this table is basically useless. Now they're all sleeping. Someone mentioned that if you if you look at a dupe, follow them. Okay, who's the most stressed? Wolf. Wolf, where are you? There you are. Now if we watch, follow, cam, they get the center of attention buff. Which is minus five distress. And I always thought this thing was a positive distress, but it's a negative distress. So that's pretty cool. It's a good thing to do when they're sleeping at night. Just let their stress go down. I think if you watch them for too long, it uh, might get worse. I'm not quite sure. Let's get back to Wolf there. Follow. Center of attention. Let's watch him for a bit here. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he should really be on the table. Wolf, 68. Yeah, why is he not on this table? 78. Oh, I gotta bring this down. Actually, I should keep it up a little bit because some of the other dupes probably won't get on there. Okay, so that's better. Stress is coming down. Germs are, or I mean, immune systems are pretty low. I haven't looked at jobs in a while. So I'm thinking of maybe not putting every everyone through these last these last sets of jobs because that's going to really um really stress them out. But we I do want a lot of them to have exosuit engineer because they got to be able to move fast in exosuits. But maybe boom the mech I'll just skip in terms of seasoned farmer. What do they get for that? Plus 2 to farming. I don't think boom the mech has uh Super crazy food expectations, so maybe I'll move him down or up into minor. Has he already been a minor? Yeah. What about architect? Hasn't done that yet. Okay. So I'll, I think I'll skip tier six, except a select few. Because we don't have super nice food for them yet. We want to get better food. 
I want to probably grow some sleet wheat at some point, but it's uh, it's kind of difficult to grow because you have to cool the water down to about five degrees. I could put a grooming station in here. <laughs> That's not too far of a run. This thing is a bit big, though. Could try to seal it off. Doesn't hurt to put the station in. Let's just see. See how big this room is once that's done. And I think I have one exosuit. I'll probably try to make another one here. And I'm thinking of circulating the dirty water that comes out of these toilets back in back into the system. I've been thinking of doing that. Because you can use dirty water in the sinks and toilets. Which is counterintuitive. But. Or we could just filter this and send it off into a tank somewhere. Not our super clean water, but like a germy clean water tank. I don't want to go into this chlorine. It's kind of nasty once it gets out. Where could we put it? We could put a little storage, liquid storage here. It's a bit out of the way. But we could reuse some of this pipe here. Because I don't think I'm going to use this pump anymore. Hmm. I don't know if I had any food for those guys. Uh, edible. Lice loaf. Crystal berry they have. Okay, omelette they have. Yeah, meat. I could also grow some pinch of peppers. Or out of fertilizer. Hmm. I realized that... I forget which update. Maybe this update. The compost used to make fertilizer out of polluted dirt. And now it just makes dirt. So we actually need fertilizer makers to get these bonuses for these plants, but we don't necessarily need the bonus, so. High stress still. Okay, let's extend these floors out this way. I'll probably do a thermal barrier. Maybe along here, wherever it gets, starts to get warm. Yeah, along here. Maybe on the other side of this ladder, right down this way. Keep the heat out of the base. Let's dig all this out. Maybe after they're done that. <laughs> this deodorizer is kind of in the way, so we'll move it. I stress juicy. Okay, dig that out. Put a bit of a floor in here. How are we doing for coal? Eight, eight tons of coal, five tons of algae. This one little piece of rock is kind of bothering me. There, there. Let's just get rid of those. And these ladders, they're supposed to be placeholders for a tube that we're going to eventually put in. For now, they're just kind of in the way. Don't need them. What was fertilizer there? Could you use that? How's this water doing? I think it's almost gone. So the big plan for this episode was just to get stressed down and maybe tie into that natural gas. But I also want to fix this issue. Start filtering that. Okay, we're, we got to put that deodorizer back in and we should probably put some airflow in. Airflow right here and here, I guess. Yep. 
Yeah, and let's see. Maybe make some mesh tiles along here just so they can dig this out. Hey, someone le leveled up in their sleep. Kind of funny. Get rid of this ladder. Maybe this will be the cleanup, cleanup episode. Got to up the priority on this grooming station. I don't think we have enough ranchers. That's another thing. Oh, bear. Bear could be a seasons rancher, but then he's going to be in tier six. So what should I do? I think I'll just put him in gopher or something. Yeah, that looks good. Get some more decor in here. Get rid of this painting. And did I do a second exosuit? Atmos suit? Let's do a third one. Oh, I also want to do snazzy suits. That would help with their stress. Stations. Uh, textile loom. Yes, that will help. Hook up the power. Now, we can't run these two machines at once, but we don't need to. Okay, let's finish off this little bit here. And deodorizers, I was going to put those in. Granite, sure. I just might as well stick them over the vents. Actually, not there. I want to put a water sieve in here. Now this is going to run hot, but I think it's okay. Now I've turned it around. Because the clean water, or the dirty water, is going to go in the right. Uh, I should use this light so in there and then the let me just think about this here uh, this could back up actually this won't back up but the clean water coming back into the system could back up so we'll go like this this has always kind of confused me and I think I finally figured it out so we're coming out here Let me just think about this for a second. Uh, put water through here. And then come along here. And go into a bridge. This light bridge. Now. It'll be similar to what we did up here. Where, oh, not with, not with liquid, but with gas though. So, it'll preferentially go into the bridge and if it backs up it'll branch off so I'm going to try to do the same thing th same thing here but with liquids uh, I kind of put the bridge in a bad place though but let's just see the excess okay the the rest will go feed back into our system and the excess will send off to a tank somewhere, maybe down here. Let's just, uh, yeah, excess will go this way. We'll hook that up in a bit. And we won't need to dump it in here anymore. We gotta let them build all that first before we think about what we're gonna do here. So that'll come around here. I'm gonna make another tank right here, I think. Even though this is a good place for food. Oh, this is gonna be 40 degree clean water. Two, three, four. Maybe I'll make the same kind of ice sculpture arrangement over top, or we could put another storage tank here. Hmm, that would work. 
kind of shrink this one a little bit and make another one here. Let's try that. And I think I'll use granite. Now, are they going to be able to get in here? It's kind of underwater. And can I build this without it leaking? I think I can. Oh, that's kind of the wrong level anyway. Let's see if I can dig this one. And then build a tile in here and kind of edge our way across. Oh, they can't reach it. Unreachable dig. Hmm. Okay, we'll go in the other way. Still got high stress. Jeez. Liam, Hank. Let's notch these down a bit. And I don't want to, I don't want them working on these sculptures. Just want them to melt. Okay, let's replace these tiles that I just blew up here. Okay, if we build a second tank here, how will that work? Bleach stone. Kind of don't want to tap into that. Let's go straight down like this. Maybe I should make it in the center. Yeah, let's do it here. Granite, priority seven, come down here. Then build a wall like this. Kind of down the center. Doesn't need to be that high. And then we'll build another tank over this way. We should probably get those mushrooms while we're at it. Maybe I can spill the water over the top here. Oh, there's slime lug in there. Oh, we don't want that actually. Never mind about going in there. Hmm. How are we doing for water? Is this water all used up? Almost. I think we could just maybe mop that up. Yeah. Get rid of this and then enable this one. Okay, there they go. Now we could make one, we could make it higher than the other one, that's fine. Actually, that'll look kind of Frankenstein-ish. Let's do, I, okay, let's do that. I don't think that'll leak. Yeah, that looks okay. We'll just kind of inch our way over here. And watch me make a mistake and flood that thing. Stick that along there. How many tiles is One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, but we'd have to go in there. Okay, it'll be lopsided. <laughs> and it's, I think it's safe to divide it now. So we'll, fl we'll flood ice into both, but one's going to have some germs in it. But the germs should die in the clean water, that's the idea. Gotta do this one, that one. Get them to build that through the triangle <laughs> or through the corner. I think they can do it. Yeah, it should be possible. So then the, 
Oh, we need power for this as well. And since we're not using this pump anymore, I'm going to use this power circuit. Sorry if this feels, feels like it's all going at a sluggish pace, but... Okay, so that doesn't need to go out anymore, because we're going to send this. Actually, we don't need to send it all the way over there. We can come straight down here. Straight down. And dump it in there. But we want to... want to dig it out first before we actually hook it up. And I can get rid of this bit here. So yeah, the overflow will go that way. The rest will come in here. I think it should work. Oh, stress is coming down. Good, good. Let's push these down to 30. Get them all really low stress. And let's check our reports for the last few days. See, let's just see how they did. Uh, food. Oh yeah, look at that. Food. Food is not on there. What about here? I think they eat every other day. Depending on the food. Okay. I don't see any uh, food uh, stress increases. Unless I'm looking, at, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay, let's go back to today, yesterday. Okay, I don't see any there. Yeah, I think it's working. Because we're giving them good food. Yeah, I think that's working. As long as I was looking at the right people. Stinky. Juicy wolf. Yeah, they were, they were the ones eating the crappy food before. Yeah, so this is working, I think. I've never really had to use the food expectation. I've never really had to use this menu, use this menu before because... Because uh, I wasn't playing on the hardest settings. Okay, we'll leave that. Now we're doing for hatch eggs. How are these guys doing? They're looking pretty happy. Okay, we gotta dig in here. So they can build this pipe. And I do want to get off mealwood eventually. Or do I? We could be making uh, this stuff. Berry sludge. Sleet wheat grain. There's 152 of it out there, accessible. So let's actually make some berry sledges. That way they'll have even better food to eat. Okay, I gotta deal with this soon, because the, the level is getting quite high. There's 5 million, look at this, 5 million food poisoning. That is some dirty ass water. Dirty ass, oh, it is dirty ass water. <laughs> it's exactly, oh. Look what I've done. It's too busy with the dirty ass water. Okay. That's going there. Oh, we gotta finish this little project here. Dig that. Fill that, dig that, fill that, dig that. That's probably safe to remove. This whole corner building thing, is it an exploit? I don't know. It's probably not intended. Look at all those delicious mushrooms in there. Oh, that's not what I want to do just yet. How are we going to do this one? Uh, let's do this. 
And then they can build that one, then we can do that one. Okay. Is any nasty air getting out? Oh no, slime lung. There's slime lung in there. Unreachable build. Uh, really? I should be able to build at the corner there. I think they can do it. It's okay if it spills out, but... There they go. Okay, we gotta make sure no slime lung went in them. That would be really bad. Oh yeah. I see slime lung. 254 germs. Okay, it's having a small impact. And remember, because they're fatalistic, or whatever the thing is, they they never improve their immune system, so we're going to have some permanent hits from that little tiny bit of slime lung. Oh, this tile. Look at that. I should have dug this out. Uh, we can still dig that out safely. That'll full, fill up with air. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this. Take that. Oops. Take this one out. Dig that out. Oh, that slime lung's everywhere. Oh, wait a minute. That could be really bad. Uh, we don't want to actually dig that out. I take it back. Stick that back there. Let's build a ladder up here. Take this out. Okay, and then I want to put disable disinfect on this tile and this tile. The slime lung won't get into the water, so that's okay. And now that that is emptied, we can. I think I'll just leave everything in the bottom of the tank. Don't really need to sweep it out, but we could. We should sweep it out. Okay, I'll sweep it out. Decision made. Ice block here. Check our jobs. We got unhappy. Uh, unhappy. Let's, uh, should we put them up into this other tier? Plus 75. Oh, the, actually the food thing doesn't go up until the last one. So yeah. Remote. Looks good. Hopefully they can get all this stuff. How's the oxygen level in here? Not too bad. I see chlor- is that chlorine? Where did this chlorine come from? Did I dig out some bleach stone by mistake? I don't think so. Where did the chlorine come from? Hmm. Look how hot it is here. Jeez. And I was gonna replace all this, and I was gonna do stuff up in space. Grand plans. Okay, let's do our electrolyzer setup here. Oh, look at this. There's chlorine in here. Liquid chlorine. I don't know where all that came from. Okay, electrolyzers, oxygen. Stick them here. Oh, not two of them, just one. 
and we'll build the gas pumps right here. And a little bit of a ceiling along here. Oh, I said I wasn't going to do it there because there's sleet wheat, but whatever. And I don't want to move everything up, so probably just get the plumbing up that way. Straight up, straight over in there, and then power. That. You get to see me do it again. <laughs> Okay, that's, uh, we need, what do we need? We need gas piping to come back into this line right here. It'll come around this, this area. So I'll build it backwards. Oh, what's this stuff? Mafic rock. Oh, we have some. Okay, that'll be our dual input line. We'll come this way. Around here, up here, down here. Like that. And it should stay cool enough in this area for quite some time. We're on the hunt for a anti-entropy thermo nullifier. And that's where I'm going to build my real oxygen generation. This is temporary. Let's well dig out this algae here while we're hanging out here. And I think it's okay to go super fast here. Let them get that done. Build. Build my little monkeys. Power. Okay, those are going. We're getting polluted oxygen as well. That's okay. So a load in there. Actually, that just doubled our oxygen. <laughs> output, except the filter can't handle it. Oh, there's chlorine in there as well. Oh, joy. Send some chlorine to the base. Okay. The rest we can take out now. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye. Speed through the night. That's all gone. Take that out. That looks okay. That looks good. Sending just about every gas into the base, but that's okay. CO2 will fall. Chlorine will end up around here. Might have to do like a chlorine disposal thing later on. And let's finish this thing. Oh, look at all this nasty air. Deodorizer priority seven. I think we need two. Right there. Okay, let's finish this off. We can 
cut off this bathroom link right here and here. Oh, I should have cut off the water thing first. Uh, let's cut off this one here. It's gonna make, I should have emptied it first, but actually nothing happened. Huh. Maybe it's inside the tile. Okay, plumbing. Now I hope this all works. So we're sending germy but clean water. I'm gonna save. Uh, because I'm a little bit worried that this is not going to work. I think it'll work. But I'm not, I'm not 100% sure because I've never actually done it before. So this light in and this water germs. Oh, interesting. No germs. It should have germs. Maybe this thing is cleaning the germs? What's going on there? Polluted dirt. Water. Oh yeah, it's got food. What? Stop. Okay, water. 18,000 food poisoning germs, okay. Oh, I think some old clean water was still in there. Okay. And then, oh, there's no place for the overflow to go. Let's do this priority nine. Anyone? There they go. Okay, oh, it didn't quite finish. So yeah, clean, clean but dirty water back in. Dirty water out, filtered in a loop. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's good. That's fine, I think. Oh, maybe not. Is that what I wanted? Oh yeah, it's backing up and then it's going up. Perfect! Perfect, it's working! So we get our excess in here. This is full of food poisoning, but... If we look at the germs... Change rate, minus 4 per second, half-life 20 cycles. Dying on liquid, 3% dead per cycle. So in... 33 cycles, <laughs> it should be gone. But it's continually adding germs, so... But we can use this gray water for some other kind of uses. Can we water plants with it? I think we can safely water plants with it. Because uh, the germs don't make it all the way through, through the food. But we can't prepare food with it. We can't, like, make, uh, you know, these lice loaf, for instance. It uses water. We can't stick that in the germy water in the food. What's going on here? Fertilization. Oh, there they go. It's all good. Because that's, uh, that's a wonderful thing. I like that. I should have done stuff like that earlier. Get rid of that vent. We don't need that. Oh, we might need it. I'll just leave it for now. Slime lung, ooh, in the air, two slime lung. Let's put yet another deodorizer here. Okay, well, we got tons of food. Ridiculous amount of food. Stored away. Let's make some more of these. Oh, I said continuous, did I? Sleep wheat grain, five. And bristleberry. Oh, we're making bristleberry and 
We're making gristle berry. Plus one. Berry sludge is plus three. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, no more gristle berry. We will make only bristle berry. I mean, uh, <laughs> berry sludge. We're gonna we're gonna run out of sleep wheat grain eventually, but that's okay. Jobs, jobs, jobs. Uh, boom. Yeah, that's all good. I'm running out of time, and I didn't really get a whole lot done. Okay. Outside of stable. Never finished this off either. How big is this? Enclose this space. It is enclosed. What are they talking about? I guess it's too big a space. Uh, granite, sandstone, let's go up here. Actually, maybe it'll make a tall room, but they're all over here. Let's attract them to the left. Oh, we can't. We need plastic. Hmm. Let's be a little bit cheeky and just kind of nudge them over. Let's see if we can trap them in this little area. do that off camera because that's not very exciting um, what was I gonna do next Got, are we getting our water thing working maybe we should oh yeah snazzy suits I really want snazzy suits let's just do four Reed fiber, four of five. Where did all the reed fiber go? I thought there was a whole bunch in here. Oh, they just... Hmm. Not sure what happened there. Let's get in here as well. There's some reed fiber growing. Uh, how can I get in there safely? Right here, I guess. Get those mushrooms as well. And avoid the slime. Mushrooms. Okay. Are those covered in dirt and slime? No, they're fine. Okay, reed fiber. Oh good, they're making some snazzy suits. Still low on reed fiber though. I thought there was a whole pile of it in here. Maybe not. Because we used up what we had. Okay, exosuit docks. That is what I want to put in. Maybe right here. I think I should plug this hole here. That and exosuit docks. Stick. Uh, we got three suits. I don't know how many exosuit engineers we have, but we'll put three in. I don't really have the power to drive this. I think our coal has been going up though. Now that we have so many hatches. Idle 7. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to pause here because I want to put in a gas valve for each one of these. Or at least... Yeah, I want to put a gas valve like this. Upside down. And the reasoning is I don't want to starve oxygen to the base. I want to do 
something like this, split it off. And then control the amount that goes in the valve to something quite low so it doesn't take all the oxygen away. Yeah, so most of it gets to the base. Now that's going to need power. I don't have power to drive that. We could use more coal, but that's going to be a bit risky. Hmm. Let's get the uh, checkpoint in. Oh, I put the valve in the way there. Can I stick it there? Does it need to be flush? Not quite sure. I've never left a gap like that before. Deliver exosuit. I think we have three made. I hope we do. There we go. No checkpoint. Oh man. Guess I'll move the valve. <laughs> Swap those. Okay, checkpoint right here. And the valve can go right there. In there, and then let's get rid of those two. And for power, I guess I'll just do another coal generator here for now. It's going to get pretty warm there. Let's do a smart battery. I'm leaving a little bit of space because I probably want to put warts in here. up. Where does the time go? So much time just went by. We're almost out of time for the episode. I could play forever and ever. What the heck? I just ran out of something. Maybe not. Okay. Automation wire. And 50%. Ish. This party seven. Oh, I ran out of uh, iron ore. Oh, you know what? I think I was crushing. Oh no. Yeah, we're out of iron. Where did all the iron go? That's strange. Maybe all the hatches ate it. There's tons of iron all over the place though. So those suits, those are filling up, I think, slowly. Oh, no one's gonna be able to get out here and do anything until those exosuits are ready. That's okay, I think building attunement. What? Oh, it's just freezing in there, that's okay. Now, is anyone going to be able to get out here? Oh yeah, there goes, uh... Someone. First use to the exosuit. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Okay, I want to do some more exploring in this episode. I was thinking of going this way. Get some more wheeze warts. Let's just do a ladder up here. Now I don't want this chlorine getting out, so I'm gonna go. Oh, I should have done one over. I still can. Cancel, cancel quickly, cancel. So we'll go up here, get all that sweet algae, 
and build a stopper area here so that the chlorine doesn't get out. Come across here. Now we don't want these Drekos to get out either. Some of that chlorine might get out. Let's cancel that for now so they concentrate on this. There's some meat in there. Don't get trapped in there, you guys. Okay, now we can come across. Here. Ladder. And what do we got over here? We got a we got a door. Doors are always good. So can they walk over here? Not quite. I want to leave that natural sleet sleet wheat growing. So I'll just do this. Come across. Get this. And I guess come down this way. What do we have in here? I'm on the hunt for a anti-entropy thermonullifier. Uh, oh, is that in there? What is that? Those are lockers. That's okay. Lockers are good. I was hoping for the nullifier, but I got lockers instead. Oh, there's one right here. What am I? It's right here. Okay, that's actually good. Let's get in there. Let's get hopping. Let's get cooling. So this will be where the oxygen cooling ends up. And I want to build a place to put all my Weezworts for now. Where should I stick them? Maybe up here. Furniture, power pot, granite. Building a bunch. And then I'm going to copy these settings just to have a space for all these to go into. That way, whenever the seeds are ready, they'll get stuck in there. Oh, these guys are getting out. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want them to get out. Okay, let's take a little door here. Well, there's an airlock there. Whatever. That's fine. Come in here. So next episode, because I'm out of time, I'm going to dig. I'm going to set up this nullifier. Put an oxygen generation here. I guess I'll relocate everything I had built and build it properly in here, because this will stay cold for a very long time. Yes, that will work nicely. And we got lots of natural growing sleet weed in here we can use. And I also want to try to get some solar, uh, some glass made. Using uh, that new glass forge. But we're kind of out of time here, so I'm going to wrap things up. Get back to the base. Slow things down. Hope you enjoyed that episode. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.